Hi, welcome to Fahad's tutorial and this is a very important lecture on chemistry because in my previous class I already explained about a relative atomic mass and how we can calculate relative atomic mass and this video is about relative molecular mass and uh, this is very important because uh, on the next level in case of understanding mole we need to calculate the relative molecular mass as well as the comp percentage compositions of elements so if we see that how we can find the relative molecular mass find it out because we need to understand what is the atomic mass relative atomic mass based on the periodic table so if you see on the periodic table we found like hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon huh? sodium magnesium Aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, calcium, or even you can go for like scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, zinc. So we know these are the first 30 elements of periodic table though I write uh, in a way but it's not written in the periodic table in this way but I go for from 1 to 10 and then 11 to 20 and then third, uh, 21 to 30 so if you see this is the first 30 uh, elements of periodic table and we know that uh, for understanding the relative molecular mass and to figure it out we need to know the atomic mass of H elements because because this is highly important like hydrogen is one so in case of helium it's two but the relative atomic mass is four like you can say in case of carbon the atomic the relative the proton number of carbon is six but the relative atomic mass is 12 it's not the twice of the proton number I already discussed that the very important thing is to understand how we calculate the relative atomic mass as we know that the carbon is 6 I mean the proton number is 6 but it's not that this molecular mass is twice of atomic number no this this molecular this atomic mass is based on the carbon 1 12th of carbon 12 isotope so you know that based on 1 amu that atomic mass unit we figured out the atomic mass so in case of nitrogen is 14 is 14 in case of oxygen is 16 and suppose sodium which is very common it's 23 though the atomic number of sodium is 11 but the atomic mass is 23 it means that one atom of sodium the a mass of one atom of sodium is 23 times higher than 1 12th of the mass of carbon 12 isotope so based on one atomic mass unit sodium is 23 times higher one atom of sodium is 23 times higher in case of magnesium it's 24 in case of true aluminium is 27 in case of silicon is 28 hopefully uh, and in case of phosphorus is 31 sulfur 32 chlorine is a fraction number 35.5 how we can memorize actually when you do a lot of practice and you give a lot of exams it's definitely be on your mind that what are the numbers it means 35.5 times higher than the mass of 1 12th of 1 carbon like carbon 12 isotope so this is a fraction number like in case of potassium is 39.1 in case of calcium is 40 like what I can say in case of chromium is 52 in case of uh, iron is 56 uh, in case of copper is 63.5 so these are very common that we usually uh, use in, in sort of like 
understanding the molecular mass, relative molecular mass. Now we need to see that how we can calculate the relative molecular mass. Let's see very common. Let's see water. So in one molecule of water, if we need to figure out the molecular mass of water, we know that hydrogen the atomic mass, relative atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 and there are 2 atoms so here is 2 atoms plus oxygen is 16 the relative atomic mass of six oxygen is 16 then we need to find it out it's 18 so this is very common and very basic like if you see carbon dioxide then we know that carbon the atomic mass of carbon is 12 12 and then oxygen is 16 16 and there are two atoms so here actually 44 if we go a daily like sulfuric acid which is also very commonly used in chemistry h2so4 then we see that hydrogen is 1 times 2 plus sulfur is 32 you see here sulfur is 32 plus oxygen again 16 and there are four atoms we multiply and then we figure out 98 like this so whenever we can we, we, we have the molecules of anything that like any 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 compounds like ammonia like sulfuric acid soda ash or even whatever the atomic even glucose if you see that glucose that C6H12O6 glucose if you see this is carbon so we have 12 times 6 plus plus okay this should be plus hydrogen is 1 times 12 and oxygen is 16 times 6 so it will be like all together 72 72 plus 12 plus 76 96 so it's all together 180 so this is the relative molecular mass of glucose and this is very important to remember there is no unit of relative atomic mass or relative uh, molecular mass because when we use gram instead of this like gram then this amount is uh, will turn into the mole so the amount of 18 gram of water it means one mole of water but actually in the relative molecular mass it has no unit because we know earlier that relative atomic mass is the ratio of similar type of quantity and that is why there is no unit so if you see that if we say like that sodium carbonate times 10 water like in case of 10 crystal water like sodium carbonate and this dot 10 h2o this means 10 molecule of water is adjacent with a crystal so sodium carbonate dot 10 h2o if this is the compounds then we need to find out the molecular mass that how we'll do as we know that sodium is 23 23 times 23 times 2 23 times 2 plus carbon is 12 and oxygen is 16 times 3 then then what we'll do that there is dot it doesn't mean that it will be cross it will be plus it will be plus and there are 10 molecules of water so as you know that in water is 18 then we can multiply 10 times 18 so this is actually 46 plus 12 plus 48 plus 180 so we got 60 here 60 plus 46 is 106 106 and 180 is actually 286 if I'm not wrong uh, okay so 286 is the molecular relative molecular mass of sodium carbonate and 10 water crystal so exactly this is the way we can find out the relative molecular mass of different elements and different compounds so if you see that uh, like uh, if you see like a uh, little bit a different molecule like nitric acid suppose uh, nitric acid HNO3 we know that chemical formula of nitric acid so hydrogen is 1 nitrogen is 14 and then oxygen is 16 times 3 so here would be 15 plus 48 so it would be 63 so 63 is the relative molecular mass of nitric acid so 
like this way when you see the dotted something like crystal water is added like if you see gypsum gypsum the formula of gypsum is calcium sulfate dot 2 h2o so so two molecule of water is attached so how to find it out we know that calcium is 40 40 so we can use 40 plus sulfur is 32 here is 32 so 32 plus oxygen is for 16 times 4 plus there will be plus mind it 2 molecule of water so it will be 18 so we can see that 40 plus 32 plus 64 plus 36 so what would be the positions and what would be uh, uh, the things like we can say well um, like 42 this would be 72 I think yeah so 72 plus uh, 64 plus 30 6 is 172 so the molecular mass relative molecular mass of uh, gypsum is 172 so i hope those you are watching this video so you can understand that how we can find our relative molecular mass i mean there are a number of compounds available in chemistry like uh, whatever you know like ammonia in case of ammonia you see that there are one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atom so what would be the relative molecular mass of ammonia is 17 how because nitrogen is 14 and hydrogen 1 times 3 so we can use 17 and even any type of compounds you can say and we can find out the molecular mass based on the relative atomic mass so from now if you uh, understand the chemical formula of any compounds you can figure out the uh, the molecular mass of the compounds so this is a very short lecture on understanding the molecular mass you first remember the required elements in, in the compound so if you can understand that I just wrote the very common uh, uh, atomic mass of the elements so you can remember each and every uh, I mean if even 118 molecules uh, can be remembered by a student is normal so depending on practice so as, as, as much you will do the practice in the chemistry you write it in your own hand you can remember everything so take care and do let me know your requirements stay well stay blessed bye